Maasim, Acts 15. And certain men which came down from Yaud taught the brethren and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moshe, ye cannot be saved. When therefore Paal and Barnava had no dissension and disputation with them, they determined that Paal and Barnava and certain other of them should go up to Yerushalayim unto the apostles and elders about this question. And being brought on their way by the called out assembly, they passed through Phoenicia and Shomoron, declaring the conversion of the other nations. And they caused great joy unto all the brethren. And when they were come to Yerushalayim, they were received of the called out assembly and of the apostles and elders. And they declared all things that Yahuwah had done with them. But there rose up certain of the sect of the Parashim, which believed, saying that it was needful to circumcise them and to command them to guard at the Torah of Moshe. And the apostles and elders came together for to consider of this matter. And when there had been much disputing, Kesa, rather Kepha, rose up and said unto them, Men and brethren, ye know how that a good while ago Yahuwah made choice among us, that the other nations by mouth should hear the word of the Besara and believe. And Yahuwah, which knows the hearts, bore them witness, giving them the Ruach HaKadosh, even as he did unto us, and put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by belief. Now therefore, why tempt ye Yahuwah to put a yoke upon the neck of the Talmudim, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? But we believe that through the grace of the Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach we shall be saved, even as they then all the multitude kept silence and gave audience to bar Nava and Paal, declaring what miracles and wonders Yahuwah had wrought among the other nations by them. And after they had held their peace, Yaakov answered, saying, Men and brethren, hearken unto me. Shimon has declared how, Yahuwah, or rather how Yahuwah at the first did visit the other nations to take out of them a people for his name, and to this agree the words of the prophets, as it is written, After this I will return, and will build again the tabernacle of David, which is fallen down, and I will build again the ruins thereof, and I will set it up, that the remnant of men might seek after Eth Yahuwah, and all the other nations, Upon whom my name is called, says Yahuwah, who does all these things. Known unto Yahuwah are all his works from the beginning of the world. Wherefore my sentence is that we trouble not them, which from among the other nations are turned to Yah. But that we write unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols and from fornication and from things strangled, and from blood. For Moshe of old time has in every city them that preach him, being read in the synagogues every Shabbat. Then pleased it the apostles and elders, with the whole called out assembly, to send chosen men of their own company to Antioch with Paul and Barnava, namely Eth Yahuda, surnamed Bar Shava and Eth Sila, chief men among the brethren. And they wrote Sepharim by them after this manner The apostles and elders and brethren send greeting unto the brethren which are of the other nations in Antioch and Aram and Cilicia. For as much as we have heard that certain Rather, certain which went out from us have troubled you with words, subverting your souls, saying, 
ye must be circumcised, and guard at the Torah, to whom we gave no such commandment. It seemed good unto us, being assembled with one accord, to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnava and Paal, men that have hazarded their lives for the name of our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach. We have sent therefore Yahuda and Sila, who shall also tell you the same things by mouth. For it seemed good to the Ruach HaKadosh and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things, that ye abstain from meats offered to idols, and from blood, and from things strangled, and from fornication, from which if ye keep yourselves, ye shall do well. Fare ye well. So when they were dismissed, they came to Antioch, and when they had gathered the multitude together, they delivered the Sefer, which when they have read, or rather had read, they rejoiced for the consolation. And Yahuda and Sila, being prophets also themselves, exhorted the brethren with many words and confirmed them. And after they had tarried there a space, they were let go in peace from the brethren unto the apostles. Notwithstanding, it pleased Sila to abide there still. Paul also and Barnava continued in Antioch, teaching and preaching the word of Yahweh, with many others also. And some, day, rather, and some days after, Paul said unto Barnava, Let us go again and visit our brethren in every city where we have preached the word of Yahuwah, and see how they do. And Barnava determined to take with them Yahuchanan, whose surname was Marcus. But Paul thought not good to take him with them, who departed from them from Pamphylia, and went not with them to the work. And the contention was so sharp between them that they departed asunder one from the other. And so Barnava took Marcus and sailed unto Cyprus. And Paul chose Eth Sila and departed, being recommended by the brethren unto the grace of Yahuwah. And he went through Aram and Cilicia, confirming the called out assemblies.